Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality. In today's video, we're going to do a quick win showing you how you can perform a nice and simple drag and drop using Cypress. So all we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the commitquality.com practice drag and drop play page. If you don't know how to get to it, you can just go to practice and find drag and drop here and click on it. And all we're going to do is we're going to drag this smaller box into the larger box and we should see a success rate. And to do this, we're going to use a plugin. So if you go to the Cypress documentation and go to the plugins page, you'll see there's a bunch of different plugins, which we'll probably cover videos on a lot of these. However, this one here of Cypress drag and drop is the one we want to look at today. And once selecting this, it'll take you to a GitHub by four teamwork, and they've got some documentation here of how you can perform a nice and simple drag and drop. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So first thing I want to do is I want to take this command, which is going to install the plugin for us. So let's go into our tests and in our terminal, I'm going to copy that command of npm install uh, Cypress drag and drop, hit enter. We'll wait for that to install. Okay, with that installed now, then we want to be able to say, let's use the drag and drop functionality that we've, that plugin inside our test. So I'm going to go to my support folder and commands JS. And at the top, I'm going to import that new plugin. So you can see it's already came up for us here. So I'm going to say 40W Cypress drag and drop. Perfect. And that's all the setup we really need. Now we just need to actually use the plugin. So first of all, we're going to go to the commit to quality drag and drop page. So let's copy that here. And now all we've got to do is say, I want to get the smaller box, perform the drag method, and then drag it onto the larger box. And we can see that if I go to the documentation, nice and simple usage will be here where it says, get your source item. So the source item would be the smaller one or the one you, the draggable item. And then we've got the target item of where we'd actually drag it to, which would be this larger box. So I'm just going to do exactly that. I'm going to say side.get. I don't know the smaller items locator, so two seconds. Let's grab that. And there we are. We've got an ID of small box, and we've got a class of large box. We can use that. So I'll say ID of small box dot drag. And then we want to pass through as a parameter the target item, which in our case would be the large box here. Don't forget to add the dot for the class. So we say large box and that's literally it. Now what we should see is when I run Cypress, we should see that it'll go to the page. It'll drag the small box and drag it onto the large box. So let's do NPX Cypress open and have a look if that's working. Now then in our specs, we've got this example spec because this is what I've named the file here. And we should see the drag and drop test inside here that will automatically run. And here we go. You can see it's done everything. It's dragged it over and we've got the success appeared in our test. And that's really cool. But what if we actually want to assert that it is successful? Because at the moment, this test would always pass even if that success didn't actually happen. So what we can actually say is we'll chain on then and we'll say success and then we want to do our callback function here and we'll say assert is true success so what that means is what that means is we just oh, we're missing a bracket there that's why and we're missing a bracket here so what this means then is drag it over and if it's successful, it should return a boolean of true and we're asserting against that. So here the test is run, we'll rerun it again, just so you can see, perfect. You can see assert is true to be true. And if I was just to change this to say is false, this can prove that the test will now fail. So we know that it's a valid test. There we are. Test has failed because of course it was a successful drag and drop. So if you performed an unsuccessful one, you could just change it to assert is false success and that test would pass as well. And like I said, that that's really it. It's that simple to perform drag and drop using this plugin. If you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. I'll also put a link to the uh, plugin I'll put a link to this plugin documentation as well, just so you can see see a bit more information. Like you've got manual drag and drops and stuff there. But to be honest, I think just to perform that simple drag operation is going to be more than enough for most needs. But like I said, have a check of this. If you do have any other questions, just drop them down below. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good day.